love of who I am. Back in high school, I used to bust it to the dance. Yeah. Now I hit that FBO with doubles in my hands. I did have a sin, 13 hours till I land. Have you fun like a light, baby? Like a light. Now, so like I told y'all, I'm doing a double for like damn near the rest of the week. So I am at work right now. Um, Vlogtober day three is or day four, yeah, day four is looking a little slow. I don't know, whatever. Vlog day three, um, day four. I keep saying three, day four is looking a little slow, but it's okay. I'm still gonna try and get you guys some sort of you know, something. Um, I did ask a couple of questions on my Instagram and also on my Facebook. So I might even just answer those. I might sit down during my lunch or during my second lunch and we can answer those. And then you guys can definitely type down in the comments what you guys think about the questions and your answers. I think that'll be pretty cool for, for day four. I also have some collabs coming up, so definitely stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's gonna be short, but you know, I'm doing it. <laughs> y'all so now i'm going to be eating my lunch and we are going to go over the questions that i asked um my instagram and uh, my facebook so and that's crazy because i didn't screenshot the ones from facebook but they were really good everyone kind of said the same thing so you know all right so the first very first question was or is dating as a single parent when do you think the right time would be to introduce your child um, to the person you're exclusively dating and would rather and would you rather do it before or after you're officially in a relationship? So the first response that I got was <laughs> it was never because we gonna break up anyways. My 16 year old literally never met one of my boyfriends ever. Okay. <laughs> but I mean That wasn't the end of her response. She said, um, nah, but seriously, after the relationship is legitimate, which I can definitely understand. Um, before I get into it, I kind of want to read other people's perspectives. Um, someone, someone said, I'm the wrong person to ask because I don't feel comfortable with my kid around another man ever. I have issues. I'd rather be alone until they are grown enough to understand if me and him don't work out because I don't want my kid him don't work out because I don't want my kid especially if it's a girl thinking mommy got a new man every couple of months I respect that as well I definitely respect that um and then oh this one is a long one I believe before officially dating and after they have some dates and they start feeling each other before it gets too deep for the child to meet with them outside maybe to eat it's good to see the interaction with each other as a parent our job is to make sure the child slash children is comfortable or are comfortable and to see how they act with them also they should be introduced as friends before confusing a child if things don't work out while dating just my opinion and i definitely agree with every single person that answered this question um it's all about perspective and i feel like a lot of things um go with like what you've been through um within your life so the first one was like never or, you know, after the relationship is legitimate. Some of them kind of like clash. So you have the once the relationship is legitimate and then not to like once you get serious, but not too far along. And then there's also. Um, what was the other one? The, the other one was not at all. So. 
I mean, they all kind of, I, I understand everyone's perspective and I definitely respect it. Um, I personally would do it when I know that me and this person are like very, very, very serious. Like there's, I mean, people break up, you get what I'm saying? So maybe I'll introduce the person as like my friend and that's it until like we're ready to get married. I mean, I don't know because I don't, I also don't want um to think or to let for instance let Talia think that if me and this person's are friend if me and this person are friends and we're together all the time and we're doing this and we're doing that I don't want her to think that this is what a friend is you get what I'm saying so yeah I don't, I, I don't know I don't know all right so the second question is would it be a game changer if your child doesn't like the person you're dating why or why not and people's responses to this was, you know, all right. So someone said, yep, it sure would be. I got six kids and if they aren't comfortable, then neither am I. We talk about everything, so I value their opinion. Okay. The, another person would say, yes, it would be a game changer. If my child likes you, then I'd be happy. But if they don't, I don't see, if they don't, and I don't see my future partner trying to break the ice, there's no point in taking it a step further. I don't need you to be my child father, but I, but I need to ensure my child feels safe around you. My child, my priority. I get that. I definitely get that. Um, my thing is I agree a lot with the second one. I wouldn't necessarily I agree with the first one because um, it, it depends on the kid. It depends on, you know, the personal. It's a lot of personal stuff that goes into it for me. So like if Talia doesn't like somebody, right? And he doesn't make an effort to, um, and he doesn't make an effort to, you know, try then It's not going to work because it also depends on the age of the kid. And, you know, kids be knowing. So maybe the kid might think like, oh, he's try he's going to replace dad or, you know, or he's going to replace mom or whatever the situation is. Like, it depends on the kid. It really, really does. Okay. And the third question was, when you're dating someone who also has kids, when do you bring up the idea of the kids meeting? Someone says, during the dating stage, no one needs to meet. She said, uh -huh. I forgot my juice inside. She said, once it's an exclusive relationship, unless they have a child, you can sneak in a play date see how the vibe is but i'm big on kids not meeting these people for real <laughs> i said i felt that and she was like unless you feel very strong about the relationship because imagine being 10 being being in 10 relationships down the road 10 failed relationships your child don't need to be a part of that and i definitely felt that for sure so i respect that answer a lot um the next person said when you meet them first because you may not even like them rugrats <laughs> Yo, y'all are crazy. But I, I I feel it. And then another person said while while dating before it gets too deep, a date to the park or indoor playground when where you can see the kids interact, not out to eat. Kids get impatient and they'll be moody. Yes, I get that as well. But what I can say is sometimes these answers are not um they're not, you, you got to put them into perspective because like, imagine if the kids are like difference in ages or like they're five years apart or 10 years, like it, I'm 10 years apart is crazy, but I'm just saying like, I don't know. So I want to see what y'all feel about these questions. Put y'all answers down in the comments and I'll definitely be responding to them. I'm big on responding in the comments. So yeah. 
I would love to see what y'all think. But I am going to end this video right here. I know I was short, but unfortunately I'm at work. Fortunately and unfortunately I'm at work. Um, so I can't really do much. But I'm still trying to push content out there for y'all. So make sure you like, comment, oh, I'm eating beef and broccoli. My stepfather's beef and broccoli. But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you're notified every time that I post. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Back in high school, I used to bust it to the death. Yeah. Now I hit that Gabbio with doubles in my head. I didn't have a sand, 13 hours till I land. I just broke back to life, baby.